this is Madra here. I have a really quick message. And this message is about the sevenfold blessing of the Lord. The Lord will bless and he will judge in waves, right? He's sending out waves of blessing over a select few, a remnant, people who have not given up on his word when they had every reason in the world to throw in the towel. If this is you, you're going to qualify as a chosen one that Ephesians 1 11. You have allowed God to purge you. He has purged impurities from your soul, from your heart. You laid your emotions on the altar. And now the Lord is about to bring the blessing of Abraham into your life. God is saying, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing. I will bless them that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. In you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And I want to encourage you to read Genesis 12th chapter, verses 2 and 3. Study about the sevenfold blessing of Abraham because that's what God is about to do in your life in this hour. Concentrate on Hebrews 4. This is going to encourage you. Rest in the faith that God has given you. He's given you a spirit of faith. He wants you to rest in that. It's the realm of confident rest. It may not be physical rest, although many of you have been called into physical rest. God is calling you to rest on his promises, rest in his word, rest in what he's about to do, rest in what he's already told you that he's going to do in your life. So take on the yoke of Christ by yielding to God's spirit. He will escort you away from the world's yoke. You don't have to compare. You don't have to compete. God is putting you in the rightful place in his kingdom. And he's the only one that can do the measuring. Be blessed, be encouraged, because God is about to put the sevenfold blessing of Abraham on your head.